relatively the size of a substrate driven. So the beech trees are much bigger than birches. So bigger tree, bigger mass, bigger food uh, Listen, I've got a feel about this. Yeah. That's why you've got to come to Fontainebleau. These are small compared to some of the foamies fermentarius in, in Fontainebleau. No. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, the beech trees much bigger? I mean, beech trees, are, yeah. Uh, it's it's a it's an ecological succession issue. Mm -hmm. Can you see what it does with the beech tree? It it causes segmentation of the vertical columns, right? And they become individual and independent. So the tree is still living, even though I mean this is called it's called parasite. It's called a it's called a pathogen because it actually uh, it, it takes from the sapwood. But what happens is the sapwood then reacts, produces callus creates separate columns and the columns become independent connected to the root system but what it does is it allows the tree to break up that's the fundamental thing so if you go to Fontainebleau you see rejuvenated trees these are big trees they're like you know a meter two meter diameter mm -hmm. and those trees are snapped mm. by storm damage the fungus is helping the tree to have a much longer life. Well, Fomis fomentarius. Otherwise, it blows over. Is the Otherwise. first polypore to be uh, described as an endophyte. Um, yes, if I, I have that article. I can send yeah, it to you. I'd love to see it. It's that's the first brilliant. article. That's brilliant. Yeah, to, to be described as 